we, um, you know, whenever we're there, we go down to the beach and have a fire. It's at like four in the morning, whatever. So we're hooping it up till late. The kids, the kids are already up in bed. So we can't, you know, it's a hundred foot buff, so we can't, unless you go up to the edge and yell down, you know, we have no idea what's going on up there, right? Right. So we go up, go to bed. It's like 4.15, 4.30, We all got so we all, all the adults just got back up there and settled down and all of a sudden, just the loudest, I'm just so I can't even make the noise. It's just so loud and powerful. I'm just but louder. Right. And uh, it's like, what the fuck was that? And it was it. It was like that, but it went on for like 20 seconds, you know? Wow. And then he'd stop, and he'd do it again. My kid's like, Dad? <laughs> like, huh? He's like, what is that? Oh, it's just the coyotes. Don't worry about it. Because the coyotes were were going off at the same time. Right. Just <laughs> right, 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 right. Doing their fucking crazy shit. But we, you know, because where we're... Where our apple, where we're camping, the tent was right here in the orchard, and the, the easement is just a straight, you know, easement right through the woods. So it's like a corridor. Mm -hmm. I, I could tell he was standing in, in the that. road, yeah, okay, down on the other side because it's about that far, but just this side of the, the farm that's on the main road right there. It's like you know, that's not a horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know no, there's yeah. horses up there, but it's like fuck. He went on like 20 minutes doing this thing. And everybody heard it, except for people in the house. So I was like, finally stopped. I was like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that? I was nothing in the Bigfoot. So uh, we're all talking about it the next morning. I was like, damn, what the fuck? What could that sound be? I was like, I don't know, I'm going to go check it out, you know? So who wants to go with me? No one. Fucking two kids, my kid and the other guy's kid. So ten year old and twelve year old and me <laughs> and the oh the dog. And, and the uh, dog. Um the dog was part wolf, part German shepherd. Okay. Beautiful dog. Very obedient. I mean heel. He'd teal even though I wasn't his master. Right. So he came with us. Okay. So was we he walked still at night? No, it was the next morning. Oh okay. About ten in the morning. So we go out there. Heading down the road, looking for any signs of anything. And then we get down to, there's a part where it's like a swamp down here, mm -hmm. like a little pond. And it goes back up. And then uh, on, the, on the whole, this, this side has kind of a ditch, and then this side has a kind of a berm built up where they, you know, the road dug, and they just mm -hmm. kind of pushed it up. Mm -hmm. So we get to one part, and there's an animal trail going up. I was like, oh, that's a heavy used animal trail. Mm -hmm. you know, it was real beat down. And then there's a big maple tree, right? and the maple root came right here. Mm -hmm. It was all covered with moss, except for right where the trail crossed. It was like polished smooth, like something walks on that. There's no one no one there. I mean, there's right. people live around there, but no one's walking right yeah, there. Yeah, no kidding. Because it's a private easement, but something steps right you know, it was like polished smooth, you know, like uh -huh. like someone was grabbing it over and over, but it was a step. Wow. It's like, you know, deer is not stepping on that root. They hop over that. It's like, man, something's stepping on that. Let's go up in here. You know, heavy trail, just real skinny, heavy trail. Real beat down into the, you know, in there. It's like, damn. So we fall in there, fall in there. And it kind of opens up into like, Kind of a giant maple tree, and some giant cedars, but just this real high canopy is real opened up. And it's, it's like, wow, this is a cool area. I've never seen this. You know, like big sword ferns. So we're like following this animal trail there and just checking it out. And then we come up to this spot, this pile of fucking nettles. It's like someone had pulled all the nettles uh -huh. out 
and there's like a whole bundle of them just laying on the trail. What the fuck? Who's, who's fucking picking nettles, man? That's stupid. It's like, what the hell? And I was just like, I don't get it. Why, why would anyone pick nettles? Right. And then just leave them on the trail right here. You know, you know I know people use it for tea. Shit, right. But there's no one there. Yeah. So they're checking this out. All of a sudden we hear this fucking something coming through the fucking bushes. This is off in the distance, probably, you know, probably about 100 yards. You hear this, this crunch, crunch. Obviously on two feet. It's like fucking King Kong coming through the bushes. Closer. Uh, whatever was coming didn't know you were there. Oh, it knew we were there. It did? Oh, yeah. It, oh, okay. It, it, it kept coming and coming. It was like probably about here to those bushes over there. Okay. We're like, and it stopped. But, you know, it was all open in here and everything else is so thick and it's dark. Right. So we could not you couldn't couldn't see, see nothing through that. It was like, but we knew it was right there because it was loud and it stopped right there. It's like we thought something was going to jump out, you know, but it stopped. Fuck. We're like trying to see nothing, nothing, nothing. Fuck, dude, this is weird. Also, we hear it. We hear it. It was weird. Kind of chatter. Chatter? Yeah. Oh no. It's like, what? Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> so we fucking get it. Get going. It was like, we gotta go. <clears throat> so we retreated and stopped. And then we could hear it coming, coming at us some more. It's like, okay, let's get out of here. So we ran to the road. And we can hear it still, when we're going down the road, we can hear it like parallel, you know, paralleling us down the road. Right. Damn. Oh, no, even before that, okay, I missed part of it. I saw the trail that we went all the way to the end of the road before we went in there, but we still had the dog. So we went to the end of the road where the horse, horses are you know, I saw the trail. I was like, okay, we're going to go up the trail and come back. Got to the end. Did you hear that? What? Did you hear that? Yeah. Anyways, get to the end of the road. And there's kind of a kind of a power line trail. It goes okay. behind the horse field. I'm like looking around there. And all of a sudden the dog goes, you know, I in books, books, books home. Books straight home, tail between his legs. Didn't look back. Jada, heel. Didn't even turn around. Just straight back. What the hell's wrong with her? Yeah. Wow. So, get back to the camera. Just telling everybody, like, wow, dude. So that next, that that night, we're all talking about the whole, the whole experience thing, the whole thing. The thing starts yelling at us again. Like what? And this was like the nine o'clock. Yeah, it was nine o'clock. It was still light out, and it's, it was doing the same thing. It only did it for a few minutes. It's like Jesus. Wow. Yeah. So. Oh, geez. So uh, our next trip up there was a guy's weekend. And, uh, so we were. We're up there. I'm like, okay. The next two, not, the next two trips were guys weekends. But the next trip was, um, we get out there. I'm like, okay, it's, it's, it's getting late. Let's go see if we can hear anything. So we go outside to listen. Fucking hear the, like we we're at the zoo, dude. Just whoop, 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 oh, whoop. Really? Just hello, just whoop, swoop, whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. Just a bunch of them going off right up in the woods, right by where more, we were. More? Do you think there was more than one animal whooping? Oh yeah, like oh, wow. young ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The day before, the day before we got yelled at the first time. Yeah. I fucking was like, all day I kept hearing, like someone was hammering because I know there's an old, old barn over the way across the other side. It sounded like someone hammering all day, like. Just random hammering all day. Weird. But, no, I, after all this shit happened, I think you hear about wood knocks. I'm like, dude, they're probably wood knocking up there. 
So I'm thinking it was a family that had young ones because the whoops right. were like like small animal whoops. Like, right. And then there was a couple bigger ones and small right. ones. Wow. It's going crazy up in there. Well, that island's big enough that it's probably got a lot of... I think maybe they just were like raising their family in the woods. Yeah. Because they're gone now. The trail's gone. Oh. oh when, when was this? My kid was 12. I was 13, 12, 13 years ago now. Huh. So 2008. About that. So when I first started getting interested in my big foot myself. Now we heard the whoop, whoop, whoop. And then um, the next night, go out to listen. And hear a, hear a just a, you know, one of those kind that was close to us. Not in the same spot, but it's close. And we hear another one. I think it was coming from mainland over by um, Oak Bay. Because it was miles away. Because okay. this, night, this night was like crisp. The, the sound was like glass, right? Right. So sound just travels across water. Oh, sure. So we heard that. The reply over there. And we heard another reply. And I think it was coming from Woodby Island, dude. I don't know where. Wow. But it was way over the other. Tri it was like a triangle. Uh-huh. It's like, wow, dude. I haven't recorded none of it. It's all in here. Yeah. What an experience. Mm-hmm.